Did you know that you can use your phone as a webcam on your computer? But why would you want to do this? Most phones have amazing cameras in them these days, and your average webcam built into your laptop it's not that great. I'm recording this shot on my laptop's webcam, which is eh, okay. But then if we come back to my phone camera, it's crisp, it's clear, it's even in 4K. The quality is fantastic. And because of that quality, you'll appear on camera as the go-to authority. So how do you get started? How do you get this quality from your phone onto your computer? Let me show you how. The way that we're going to do this is by using something called the NDI tools and the NDI camera app. So what is NDI? Well, NDI stands for Network Device Interface. It's a standard that allows video and audio data to go across your network. So when you set up your phone, not only your computer can use it as a webcam, but your laptop could as well, or anything else that can use NDI. So how we're gonna pull this off is we're going to use the NDI tools. Go to ndi.tv slash tools and hit download. Now, if you're on Mac, grab NDI tools for Mac, and if you're on Windows, grab NDI tools for Windows. You'll need to provide your email address, but then after that, you'll get a installer file that you can install. So just install the NDI tools, and then we'll head over to your phone. Once you've got NDI tools installed, install the NDI HX camera app on your phone. For iOS, that is iPhone and iPad, it's a $19 purchase in the App Store, and for Android, it's $25 purchase. It's worth it, that's all we're gonna need to spend on this. Once you've got the NDI tools installed, open up the app. Once you open up the NDI app, you'll see two icons, one that says NDI and one that looks like a cog. Tap on the cog and you'll see all of the options. So from right to left, the options are the cog, which opens up the settings. This little speedometer here controls the quality. By default, NDI is going to send out the highest quality it can from your phone, usually 4K. If your network can't quite handle it, so say you're on Wi-Fi, you might need to dial this down to say 1080p. Tap this and it'll change the quality up and down. The second from the right is this reverse camera. So you can either use the front camera or the rear camera of your phone. The microphone icon mutes or unmutes your uh, phone's microphone. This NDI, when this is blue, your camera is active as an NDI device. In other words, it's turned on and it'll be ready to be used by your computer. The grid overlays a grid on your phone so that you can get an idea of where to frame yourself and where to frame your shot. The lightning bolt turns on or off your camera's light. That can be fantastic in low light situations. The exposure meter on the very left here goes from minus two to plus two. If your camera's too bright or too dark, you can control the exposure by sliding this up and down. And then finally, depending on your phone, you may be able to zoom in and out with the bar on the left-hand side. Okay, so once you've got the NDI tools installed, you'll want to open up your start menu and fire up the NDI Launcher app. Once that's fired up, click on this webcam app. That's going to fire up the NDI virtual webcam. Now, once this is open, you can set up up to four virtual webcams. We're just gonna set up one. I'm gonna come to video one, click on the cog, and then I'll go to phone and NDI HX camera. And now you'll see that there's a preview of my video here in the NDI webcam app. Next step, we need to set up our app that we want to use our NDI camera. In our example, we're going to use Zoom. So watch this. I'm going to join a Zoom meeting. All right, so I've now joined the Zoom meeting but I'm using the old webcam that was built into my laptop. It kind of looks grainy, fuzzy, that sort of thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the video controls here, and I'm now going to select NDI Webcam Video 1. So you wanna select the uh, video number that we've set the phone to use. So I'm gonna hit NDI Webcam Video 1. This NDI splash is going to come up, and then in a couple of seconds, you're going to see your phone's video feed. And there you go. You are now using your phone 
as a webcam on Zoom. Now, if you're using a professional broadcast tool, say for example, like OBS Studio, there's nothing stopping you from doing the same thing. Video capture device, NDI webcam one. And if you've got other cameras in your setup, like for example, this camera that I'm pointing to right now over to the side is my Logitech Mevo. These support NDI as well. So I'm using those as cameras uh, on my personal setup. And that's how you can use your phone as a webcam on your computer. Did you find this helpful? Like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought of this. Let me know in the comments. Did you end up setting up your phone as an NDI webcam? And if you'd like to take your virtual and hybrid setups to the next level, get in touch with us at Tractus Events, tractusevents.com, link in the description below. My name is Elias Prunin, and I will see you another time.